the top here at 6 o'clock. We have new information tonight on a missing mother from Cohasset. Two people who rented a home from Anna Walsh and her husband say the couple was in a rush to sell just days before she disappeared. The mother of three has now been missing for 11 days. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. And I'm Lisa Hughes. Her husband behind bars right now accused of misleading investigators. WBZ's Beth Germano spoke to a couple who rented an apartment from the Walshes and who say they had a deal to buy that when things suddenly changed. Uh, the tile backsplash. The backsplash. In fact, Mike Silva had been pouring thousands of his own money into renovating this Revere apartment, which he says landlords Anna and Brian Walsh had promised he and his fiancée Mandy could eventually buy. They even told us if we came up with a large sum of cash of $50,000 to put down to rent to own, that they would do that for us. And when we came up with that money, they ignored us and went for a higher offer. It went for cash to other buyers on December 29th, the same day they had a heated argument with the Walshes about the sale, demanding to be paid for renovations and threatening to call in lawyers, which Brian discouraged. I was like, oh, no, no, lawyers are no good situation for anybody. It's never a good outcome. We want to stay friends. The Silvas say they were friends, Mike even texting the Walshes to wish them a happy new year. But it would take two days to get a response from Brian January 2nd. Saying happy new year, sorry for the delay. I misplaced my phone and my son just found it. There was no mention of Anna, who was reported missing two days later. And now Brian has been charged with interfering with the investigation, while some evidence, like a knife, has been uncovered. Former federal prosecutor Brian Kelly says it's likely a grand jury will now review the case, and even if Anna hasn't been found, further charges against her husband could come. And reports are that he's not exactly a, a master criminal. He was Googling on how to dispose of a body. That's a strong piece of circumstantial evidence, especially coupled with the knife with potentially her blood on it. And with Brian Walsh already facing federal sentencing in a phony art case, he says prosecutors can take their time building this case. Walsh is being held on $500,000 bail. In Cohasset, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.